Hello and welcome back for another strange, wonderful, and otherwise possibly interesting indie game. Today we're looking at one called Minor Distraction. This is from Ludum Dare 15, so this is the competition that charges authors with coming up with ideas in 48 hours and putting them uh, out into the world. So, without further ado, let's take a look. Now, I've heard some interesting things about this game. Uh, one of them being that it is sort of random, but no matter how you go, it leads to the same thing. And it's a fairly short thing, I think it's only a few minutes long, so we could probably play through the whole thing right here. Interesting graphics, the character seems more detailed than everything else. Oh, I didn't think I could go through that. Oh, hello. You're quite odd. Can I go fishing too? No. Oh. Okay. Glad I found that. It's a pretty creepy looking cave we're going through. What is that? Nothing. Okay, I guess it's just a background decoration. Kind of funny how his body sort of moves like he's falling, but the face never changes. Oh. What are you playing? Can't really tell. Very tiny. Whatever it is. Got plenty of ramen, though, so you're good to go. It's like a platforming cave sightseeing tour or something. We're in more of a pink area now than we were before. That seems like a good move. It's over here. Oh. Playing flute for us, that's nice. But if nobody knows you're here, why are you doing that? Can't you get your friend playing games over there to come watch? I sort of like imagine a redesigned Spelunky that could work like this. Oh look, we're in more of a purple zone now. But I really like the concept that you could go in any direction and you still go to the same end. Not something you see done very often. What is that? Oh, it's all the guys hanging out in their house. Cool. Oh. Well, that was rather quick. <laughs> I knew it was short, but I didn't think it was quite that short. And then we're back at the beginning. So you can tell that it sort of changes phases as we go. Starting sort of a reddish orange, and then it sort of progresses down into more of a pink, and then a purple, and a blue, and then you're out of the cave. Let's see what other things there are to see. Well, that's awfully nice. I wish I could do something with all this stuff. And quite sadly, there's no sound effects or music. But, you know, not a lot of time to design a game, I understand. Don't really have art and music assets, like, calling your door down. Oh, okay, so... I guess some of this stuff is pretty similar if you follow a similar path. I hoping to take a completely different path this time. may prove harder for me to do than I expected. Is 
that a 360 over there? Did it red ring? I'll stay off too late. Playing Call of Duty or whatever you kids like. Whoa. So yeah, I guess I'm pretty much going through the same path. I thought these sort of went in separate directions. So maybe I heard wrong a little bit. It seems like this is actually a lot more linear than I was expecting. I was actively looking for different places to go that time, and I sort of still went through the same path. So I think the stuff people are writing on TIG Source isn't entirely correct. But that's why we play these games, so we can learn this stuff for ourselves. Oops. And it's definitely earned its name as a minor distraction. There we go, I just beat a game twice. <laughs> so this is a complete let's play and first impressions of Minor Distraction. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, don't really need to recommend that you go download this because you saw all of it. But, you know, cool concept, I guess. Cool art. Yeah, that's really all there is to criticize is cool art. <laughs> so, till next time, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you later.